Hopefully this is a little better fish. I don't know if it's a grouper, probably not a keeper. We gotta find some keepers there, Steve. Not giving up, I can tell you that. Are you? You may have. Go flack. Are you slack? Yep. Well, he released himself. Oh. You may have a fish on too. You do have a fish on, I think. You got a fish on too. Isn't that nice? Yeah, I, I'm trying to... Okay. Give it a second and go back because you got a fish on there. You got a fish on? Yep. Well, that could have been bad. Woo! He vented and released himself. <laughs> That's a heck of a lot closer. If he's 20 and a half, he's going in the box. I don't think he is though. Getting bigger though. Is that on that? That was a piece of uh, cut. I, just, I cut once. Oh, you cut a piece off of that? Yeah, right yeah nice. Oh, somebody whacked this thing. That was a snapper, I bet. Oh, come on. That was a pretty good hit. I got hit on the way down. that later but what do you think? hold on the problem is I'm afraid he's not gonna live the thing was in his throat pretty far yeah he feels a little bit limp He's 20 and a half. Yeah. I'd say keep him because I don't think he's going to survive anyway. No, he's not going to survive. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Tell you what, man, they hit this stuff as soon as it gets down there. It's a cut. It's a good fish. A little better. Yeah, it's a keeper, I think. He really whacked. Is that your new pole? Yeah. Smooth, baby. <laughs> For 200 bucks. Smooth. Buy one every year. Yeah. It goes bad. See, that's what I was thinking. I'm like, you know, I could go spend a grand or I could buy one of these every couple of years. <laughs> yeah. yeah, the guy was saying, he goes, yeah, that reel really has got, you know, good. He said, it's a nice, smooth action reel. It sounds cool. Where we got? He just vented himself. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, either nut or. Uh -huh. That's the one we're looking for. 
Oh yeah. All right, maybe we won't move. I'm that piece of stuff. Let's see what got. My pinfish, probably. Get that thing out of here. That's that pinfish I just I know. put down. We get crab, pinfish, all kinds of shit in them. <laughs> Recycle bait, man. Ow! Watch it. <laughs> Not quite ready. He wasn't quite ready. Four probably. Four. Yeah, let me drop this thing. I don't know if this will match yours, Steve, but that's a pretty good one. I keep saying that, and then they come up there 18 inches, but it's worth a pull drag. I've got it locked down pretty good. Eve's on, too. It's kind of crazy, because we're not really showing much. Well, it is now on the machine, I guess. Uh-oh. <laughs> You got snapper on? I don't know. <laughs> that sounds like snapper. There's that little one ounce jig head. Yep. The live bait or? Yeah, a little one of those little tiny live baits we have. Like a little tiny pinfish. Yeah. You know what? You might want to get the net. Get the net. Holy shit. Look at the size of that. Yeah, look at the size of that thing. This net sucks, dude. <laughs> look at that trigger. We have look. That's a monster, man. Check fish room and see if he's in season. I think they I think are. I think they are. Well, that's, that's definitely a keeper. A keeper. That is a keeper, baby. Like that that's bolt. a big old trigger. Oh. oh. He just farted. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody fought it. Woo, baby. I think so. Let's check the old fish rules out. Pretty sure they're in. Pretty sure they are, too. Somewhere on here. Yeah, I just saw oh, here somebody post that. Nice thing about fish rolls, it works without Wi-Fi. Fifteen inch. Opens. It's open. Bag limit one. Definitely fifteen. If it's in, well, depending on which trigger fish it is, it's oh, both of them are open. Yeah, they're all over. He's definitely he's these definitely are a bitch to clean, though. Fine, you know, man, these? Looks like leather. He is 
19. I don't even know where you would bleed this guy. I think he's just going in the cooler. We'll just stick him in the cooler. That stuff left. Just thinking about throwing another one down like that, but I don't know. Do you want to wait to do it on another spot or? Well. I mean, really what else, what else, what I was hoping to grab was like a fucking like hogfish or some big snapper hanging around the perimeter, but... Yeah. Can drop one? You got a light? Yep, I'll up. Let's see what happens. Something out there? Yeah. Oh. Steve just caught the biggest trigger fish I think we've ever caught on this boat. It's like 19 inches, it's huge. I don't think the wind's lying down. I think the weatherman lied. It's blowing, what do you think, 12, 15? Yeah. Easy? Uh, it's blowing out of the north. It's not terrible. Like we're going if we we're going a long boat that would be bad yeah. <laughs> trolling motors are cavitating it's 108 inch shaft on that trolling motor and it's all the way down and it's cavitating yeah, yeah. God, for not marking much on the bottom, there's some big fish here. Oh, that's a head shake. Oh, that's a what is that? That's some pretty good head shake there, Steve. Snapper, maybe? Uh, or AJ? Or big, big grouper. I need the net. Okay. I got a ways to go, but I'm not sure what this is. Now, I never used to use the knocker too much, but these one ounce knockers kind of flutters the bait down there, I think. Yeah. It doesn't just slam it on the bottom. Gives it a little more. Well, that's why they like those jig heads. I think it's yeah. floating down. God, he's fighting the whole way up. Grouper. Big little grouper. Not as big as yours, but that'll go in the box. Don't stick your tongue out of me. <laughs> On a day like today, you're a keeper, buddy. There's some snapper or something in there, guaranteed. Oh, that may be a snapper. I need to make it to the bottom on a piece of dead bait.
You want to? You didn't make it to the bottom either, did you? Yeah, these swells are getting worse. <laughs> We didn't run all the way out. Yeah. We have to go into Venice. Oh, Jesus. That's a good one. That's, a keeper. That's the kind we wanted. That's a keeper. Another fish with that motherfucker. It just came out. That's sweet. That's a little it's soft, bro. Oh, is it? Soft it's shell crab. Gonna stay on? I don't know. I might give it a try if I put it behind something else or something. Uh, that butterfly pinfish, that one that was pinfish was sitting on the deck. I butterflied it. They like it when you remove the the the, st the sticky part, so it just slips in their mouth, you know. YouTube drag, baby. Yeah. This may be... Yeah. Could be AJ. Might want to 
get the nut handy. What the fuck? Oh, it's a big old ARS. Big old ARS. Ah. That's a 20 pounder. Man. Oh my god. Got somebody else's line in his mouth, I think. <laughs> Dinosaur fish. I'm not going to let him spike me because that thing would hurt for a long, long time. <laughs> Get him with the... <laughs> he don't want me to hold him. <laughs> He said no. <laughs> Alright guys, didn't have a camera going, but this is probably a PB mangrove for me. Look at that bad boy. That is sweet. Dude, that's gotta be 20 something inches. He's got a lot of sharp stuff on him. <laughs> He's got weapons. That's a mangrove. for the day and then I uh, didn't have a camera on dropped another cut bait down and a six pound mangrove so I'm gonna try to do that again all right so probably one of the last baits of the day Wind's finally calming down a little bit, so the ride back may not be too bad. It's still gonna be a little bumpy.
All right, you guys have seen this probably before. Let me snipe with that guy. Big old mangrove. Got as close to the head as you can. We'll do a little outline. Back against the rib cage. Up and over the spine. Them pen bones. Can they leave this hole? Just throw them on the smoker. Throw them on the grill, actually. Take those pin bones out right there. You can get them out without cutting through the skin. Makes it a little bit nicer if you're going to cook them. I believe they call this like cooking one half shell. Get them pin bones out. We don't want to eat that. There you go. It'll be excellent on the grill. The other side. This side's always a little bit more difficult because you don't have a fillet on the other side, so you'll be a little bit more careful. Good day fishing? Yeah. Awesome. Gotta get up against them backbone. Use a serrated knife to get through some of this stuff. Solid Yeah, it's like six pounds. Just a little bit right there. Give that to the bird if he shows up. I'll try to get these collars out on this guy. Big enough. Got a recipe we're going to do, I believe, with a group of collars. I'll add this one to it. If you guys can see this on the camera, but there's that one little bone right here you gotta get under. See that? I don't think I've ever done a mangrove collar.
fillets we don't rinse with water, but these collars you can. They don't get all messed up with fresh water like the fillets do. Add that to the smoker. Pin bones out on this side. A little bit of tail meat will just burn up on the grill. You throw that on a direct flame grill, no tin foil needed, just skin side down, a little bit of olive oil, whatever your favorite seasoning is, and that'll be yummy. When it's done, it'll just pull right off the skin and be absolutely beautiful. Let's get one of them grouper out of here. Look at the size of that bad boy. Guys, long. He's a little skinny. Cheeks. And my buddy Steve, who went fishing with me today, is going to inspire this cook. We're going to take the cheeks. In the collars. I'm not going to smoke them, but we're going to maybe cook them on the grill. We may cook them in the oven. Cool them off. And then treat them like crab. And make some crab cakes out of that. I think that'll be yummy. So there's like a lot of meat in the collars, so we'll do our best to get all that out of there. Knock this side off. This grouper, I like to outline them a little bit where we're gonna take the collars off or the throat. Same thing like the snapper, just outline it. Stay as close to that backbone as you can. Yeah, some big old pit moans in them. Some of these grouper can have little worms in them. I don't think that's going to harm anybody, but we'll cut that out. So if you leave a little bit right there, you got something to grab onto.
pin bones out. This guy out. Apparently they're harmless if you eat one, but it's not all that pretty. That red meat can kind of be off-putting a little bit too, so I always try to... That would have been a little better on my knife skills on getting the skin off. I wouldn't have to do this. But. side off. side off and get rid of that guy. Let's see if I can do a better job on this one. All right, now for the collars. Try not to get any of the internals, those guys. right where his poop chute is so you want to cut this in front of that rip this membrane and stuff out look at all that meat in there kind of looks like crab meat too that'll make an excellent crab cake We've done a pretty good job, got most of the meat off of there. Alright, let's try to tackle this huge trigger fish that you've got. Look at that bad boy. Extremely hard to clean. 
skin is worse than cowhide. structure here trying to feel around you hear that I don't know if you'll be able to hear that with the all that background now noise at the marina golly it's nearly impossible Once I get through the skin, it's going to be all right. That's his rib cage. I don't know if that's the right way to do that or not, but it'll work out okay. All right, we'll see what happens. I think I've only ever cleaned like one, one of these. Interesting. There's some red meat on the backbone there. Take my time on this because a pretty big backbone. Interesting. A little bit of red meat there. Looks like there's some pin bones here. Let me get this way off. Looks like it's going to be really good. Look at that. Nice. A little bit of the rib cage here. A little pin bones here. Bad for my second ever trigger fish. A bit of meat on that guy. I think these guys got to be 15 in the state of Florida, and this one was like 19. There might be some belly meat here too. I may have missed. The big old John. Alright, we'll come back to that. In case you don't know why they call them a trigger fish, when they're alive, this guy doesn't come back down, and then you're able to push this and it'll go back down. He did.
Not the safest way to use a knife, but Let's see what happens. All right, not as pretty as the first side. Meat's pretty though. No red meat in it at all. Well, except for this. Nice. Meat's real dense though. Interesting. I can't remember even what it tastes like. I think we've only ever harvested one other one. You know one thing, it dulls the knife quick. Man. I'm sharpen that again. Fish are all clean, time to go feed the animals. Let's see if they're home. I don't think anybody's home today. Guess the crabs will get it. It's a pretty good day's work. Got some trigger fish, red grouper, mangrove snapper. Anything in there? Lane snapper. Got a lane in there. There's a lane in here. A big old grouper. Crab cakes out of those. We cook these on the grill, skin side down in the half shell. Groupers, snappers, cheeks are going to go into the mix also. Should be good. Pretty good day, man. For two people, Appreciate that's not too brother. bad. You're welcome. <laughs>